Hey everybody, welcome to our tech how-to video, how to try out the new touch bar for free on your current Mac. The MacBook Pro 2016's flagship new feature is the dynamic and customizable touch bar, just above the keyboard replacing the function keys. The touch bar displays and performs a wide variety of functions depending on the application and can even be customized with functions of your own choice. But is the touch bar on the new MacBook Pro a useful tool or flashy gimmick? Well, I think everyone will have a different opinion depending on how you use your Mac. Of course you can always try it out at the Apple Store, but that doesn't let you try it with your own setup. In this video I'm going to show you an easy way you can test the new touch bar on your existing Mac for free. So now you can try it out for yourself and make up your own mind whether it's useful for you or not using your very own workflow on your Mac. The first step is to download the free program we'll be using to test the touch bar. The one I liked using the most is called Touche. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to download it. Like I said, the app is free. However, if you end up getting some use out of it, the developer has a one-time donation page that I would strongly suggest using to help them out. Good software takes time and energy to build, so I think they deserve to be compensated. I will leave a direct link in the description below for the donation page as well. So as I was saying before, we need to download the app. Just click on the free download link on the app's website. It's pretty small, so it shouldn't take long to download. Once it's downloaded, just click on the file to unzip it, and now it's ready to run. If you plan on using this regularly, I would recommend dragging it to the apps folder. But for now, to try it out, you can just run it from the downloads folder if you like. The first time you run it, you will likely get a security warning about running the app. Just press open and now you've got it running. On first glance it's not too appealing, as it just sits above the dock. I found if I readjust the setup of my desktop a bit, it makes the experience a bit better. So while I was testing this I put my dock on the right side of the screen and the touch bar on the bottom of the screen so it looks like this. Now of course you will not be able to control the touch bar with your fingers using this method as our Macs don't have touch screens but it will let you see the various options and experiment with the touch bar to determine if it's something that's really useful for you. Now I'll show you how to set up the desktop as I have it, just in case it helps. To move your dock to the right, just go to the settings and double click on dock. Then in the position on screen section, choose right. That will change the dock to the right side of the screen. Then I just drag the Touche Touch Bar app to the bottom of the screen and now that makes it easier to use and not take up crazy amounts of space. If you plan on trying it for a while, I would recommend configuring Touche. You do this by clicking on the title bar of Touche to make sure it's the active app and then go to Preferences. I selected the Hide Title Bar on Touch Bar window. Then also right click or control click on the app in the dock and go to options and select keep in dock and open at login. This way it starts automatically for you when you log into your Mac. And now it's configured and ready for some genuine long-term testing. I found in my general testing that it's pretty handy in pages when I'm writing. I turn off the auto predict and just leave it as a formatting bar. And also looks useful in Final Cut Pro and Safari. But like I said before, Everyone's mileage will vary depending on what apps you use on your Mac on a regular basis. Well everybody, that was how to try out the new touch bar on your own Mac for free. We went over how to download and set it up. There are at least a few different apps out there that allow you to try the touch bar, but I found this one simple and free. So I thought it would be the best one to share with you. At least this way you can find out if it's a useful feature for you or not. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech how-tos and life hacks weekly. If you have an idea for a tech how-to video, please let us know in the comments below. You just might end up being responsible for the next tech how-to. Well guys, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.